Hi everyone, right, you're feeling like a warrior, yeah? You managed to get through my really detailed video on subsidy, fantastic. Then all of a sudden at the end I spring a surprise on you and I say, look, a subsidy can cause a dead weight loss. And you're thinking, huh? What's going on here? Not another area of complication. Jeez, I've just got my head around all that funky stuff and now you're saying there's a dead weight loss coming from a subsidy, really? Well, think about it. Anytime the government intervenes in the market and distorts an efficient allocation of resources set by the market, there will always be a dead weight loss. And that can be shown when we uh, isolate the impact of the subsidy on the market as well. And I demonstrated what the area was. In this video, we're going to understand why that little triangle represents a welfare loss to society. Now, remember, with welfare loss, we are always isolating producer and consumer surpluses. And by the end, we will see that the total surplus uh, in the market will have fallen as a result of uh, a subsidy changing the market outcomes. To do so, we're going to look at what the scenario was like in terms of welfare before the subsidy was implemented, so in the free market. And then we'll have a look, as a result of government intervention, as a result of the subsidy, what are the new outcomes in terms of consumer producer services in terms of welfare? Well, let's start by looking in the free market, so the initial equilibrium here, where S1 equals D1, what was the consumer surplus? Well, consumer surplus was the area beneath the demand curve and above the price, which is equal to A and B. So A plus B, the initial consumer surplus. The initial producer surplus was the area above the supply curve, beneath the price, equal to C plus D. There was no cost of the government because no subsidy was uh, being implemented in the free market. There was no revenue generated for the government. So total, nothing was happening to the government at all. Fine. So the total surplus without the subsidy was just A plus B plus C plus D. Simple stuff, right? A, B, C, D, that entire triangle. Great. Now let's see the impact with the subsidy. Now I'm not drawing the new supply curve on because uh, I don't want to draw any unnecessary lines without it really helping. But let's assume a subsidy was implemented equal basically to P2PS. Um, and let's say that new supply curve would cut the demand curve here, right? So assuming that's where the new supply curve would cut and that's the value of the subsidy, what would be the impact on the market? Well, as a result of this new subsidy, consumer surplus, we have to look at where the new price is, which is P2, so we're showing a fall in price and increase in quantity, the same impacts as the subsidies as always, that's fine. And as a result of the consumers being charged at lower price, they're gaining consumer surplus. So now the area below the demand curve, but above the price, is equal to A plus B plus C plus F plus G. A plus B plus C plus F plus G. That's the total area above the price, below the demand curve. The producers now are actually gaining PS. Remember what we said in, in my previous video on subsidy? We said, yes, okay, the producers are charging consumers the price P2, but on top of that, they're getting a subsidy from the government. And that's adding to their revenues, that's adding to their surpluses. So not, on, not only are they getting P2, they're getting more on top. They're actually getting the value of the subsidy, which takes us to PS. So that's really the price that producers are getting as a result of this subsidy. So given that that's the price for producers, what is the area of producer surplus? What is the area um, above the supply curve um, and beneath the price? And that gives us an area which is B plus C plus D plus E. Let's have a look now at how much the government is suffering. So we know there is a cost to the government as a result of implementing the subsidy. So the cost of the government is just the rectangle B, C, F, G, H and E. That entire rectangle there is the cost of the government, which you should be aware of from my last video. So in terms of revenue, it's minus, right? It's going to be a cost. So it's minus brackets B plus C plus E plus F plus G plus H. So it's basically minus that entire bracket. Now, let's add up our total surpluses. Let's add up all of these things together and work out what's left at the end. Well, when you calculate the whole thing, you can do that if you want to pause the video now and work out, you will see what area is left behind, what area is unaccounted for. So if you work out total surpluses, you'll get to this conclusion. The total surplus as a result of the subsidy is now A plus B plus C plus D, but now minus H. So compare the new total surplus to the old total surplus, it's exactly the same. But crucially, we've lost or are losing an area, which is H. H is now unaccounted for. It's a cost 
as a result of the subsidy being implemented that wasn't previously a cost before. So in total, we are losing surplus in this market. There is a deadweight loss to society. Society has to pay an extra cost when before there wasn't that cost initially. And think of that cost as being taxpayers' revenue. The taxpayers are paying for this subsidy when before, right, they weren't actually in suffering that same cost at all. And it's H. It comes down to H being the unaccounted area here. And that is this triangle here. That is the deadweight welfare loss. And that's why whenever we draw a subsidy diagram, you can always draw and shade in this triangle and say this is the deadweight loss to society as a result of the government intervening, changing efficient market outcomes. Here is the deadweight loss to society as a result of that. So hopefully now as a result of this little box and understanding the different impacts on surpluses and, and costs and things, you now understand why a deadweight loss is caused when a subsidy is implemented in the market. Thanks so much for watching. Very interesting stuff. Top economists, you're probably buzzing and loving it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.